Doug, the first thing we have to do is brown about, well, I've got two onions here sliced up, a clove of garlic sliced up, and about a quarter a cup of cooking oil. Mm. That's the very first thing you have to do. Then we add our chicken, and it can be chicken breast, chicken legs, or whatever, or half a chicken cut up. And uh, today we've got two chicken breasts, so why don't you salt and pepper salt the and pepper. Uh, chicken breasts? Okay, I can do this. This is the pepper? That's the pepper, yeah. Okay. I'll turn that thing on the top there. Nothing's, and you need ha about, nothing's uh, happening. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Just turn. No, 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 not the, uh, the whole well, the, top part. Oh. Like this, you see. Yeah, I okay. don't cook often. Uh, no, I, I can sort of tell that. Um, we need about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. That's, that's, that's about enough. Enough? Yeah. Okay. okay. We don't want to make it too hot, you see, because we've got all these other spices to go in here. Okay. And about uh, oh, half a teaspoon of salt, I suppose. Say or, or less. Say when. Yeah, that's, that's good okay. enough. Okay. okay. Now, Pepper we're going to uh, pass me the chicken, would you please? Chicken. Uh, uh, we're going to add the uh, chicken. Chicken. Two nice, fat, juicy breasts of chicken. You're going to love this, Doug. This is really a great dish. Mm. Originally, uh, of course, okay. curry is uh, from India. With a lot of the fat uh, trimmed off the... Uh, well, uh, say, say chest, don't say breast, say chest. Oh, oh, you know, yes. It's a family okay. show. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, well, I didn't take all the fat off. The skin mm. is left, uh, the skin rather, the skin is left, uh, okay. a lot of the skin is left on, but you trim off the unnecessary fat and discard it. I mean, who needs that, right? Yes, With okay. the uh, okay. cholesterol and all that. We uh, brown the chicken breasts. Chest. Chest. Yes, okay. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> We brown the uh, chicken breast. That's a little too low. I'm going to bring that up somewhat. And uh, that locks all of the juices in the chicken mm -hmm. and all of the uh, flavor from those onions and uh, garlic, which have been uh, sautéing, mm -hmm. uh, seep through the chicken. And uh, it really gives it a nice flavor, you see? Mm -hmm. OK. Next thing we're going to do is add our spices. OK. And uh, how about the curry powder? Curry powder. You know which one that is? No, I do not, sir. There are four dishes there. Curried powder. Well, I'll take a chance. One of these, two. Oh, I'll take this one. Okay. Is that it? That's right. Good. That's it, yeah. Curry powder. This is two tablespoons of curry powder. Oops, we sprinkle that on the chicken. I like a so. Boy, I can hmm. just it's beginning taste to move that it. now. And the uh, turmeric. This one's Tur turmeric. 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 Okay. Turmeric. And we need about a tablespoon of turmeric. That just gives it color not much spiciness to the turmeric itself. The uh, curry powder is kind of spicy. That curry powder that you buy in the supermarkets is a little milder, actually. And um, I like to add red pepper to it as well. But we won't put that in today, I don't think, because okay. you may not like it. Um, you can get, they tell me you can get in the health food stores curry powder of varying intensities. You know, mm. some are hotter than others. Next, uh, ginger, okay. That's a tablespoon of ginger. Okay. Which is a uh, spice that's often used in Indian cookery. Uh, next thing we're gonna add is a couple of diced apples. Diced apples, okay. You can put in as much of this as you like, really. A little more, a little less. And uh, half a cup of raisins. Raisins. By the time you get out of here, Midnight, one in the morning. Yeah. You must be cooking till four or five, right? before you get the meal ready. No, actually, uh, what I do is I get a break after the uh, weather. Oh, I see. And usually I uh, have something already prepared in one of those slow cookers. All I'll right. put some chicken breasts or uh, chicken chests. Yes, chests. <laughs> or some, uh, you know, beef or whatever in one of those slow cookers. And by the time I get home, it's ready. So on my break, oh, I can uh, I, I can eat. Uh, I'm going to add about a cup and a half mm -hmm. of hot water to this. That's bubbling very nicely there now. Turn it down on medium. Now we've got all of the uh, flavor from the onion and the garlic. And in addition, we've got this nice uh, flavor from the apples and the raisins, the sweetness of the raisins going through that. So uh, all in all, this makes just a, a fantastic dish. 
So that's it, basically. I think we've got it all in. We have next some thing you do, cashews here and some... Oh, that's for later. Oh, for later. That's for later. Okay. So, okay, we've got uh, our onions and garlic, our chicken chests, yeah. our uh, spices, turmeric, ginger, curry powder, the salt and pepper, of course, and the raisins and the apples. You put about a cup and a half of hot water in with that, and then put the lid on. Mm -hmm. And you let this cook for about uh, 20 minutes, I guess, is, is, is enough, or until the chicken's tender, until it's done to your taste, mm -hmm. okay? And since we don't have time to wait for it, I'm going to lay that to one side and bring this one over. And this is one that I've already prepared oh, or I brought see. to that stage where the chicken is cooked, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, voila. Ooh, that's very it. Very nice indeed. Nice, eh? But still a little work to be done on that. Still a little work to be done, yes, sir. And uh, specifically, that's making the curry sauce. Mm -hmm. So we take the chicken out of the, uh, what am I gonna put that on? I'll put it on this for the time being. We're gonna take the chicken out of the uh, chicken liquid. One chest, two chest, mm -hmm. three chest. And uh, to this, oh. Just Good. smell that. Mm -hmm. Just smell that. Isn't that something? You're going to love this. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely going to die when you taste this. I know you are. Mm -hmm. uh, to this, we're going to yeah. add uh, a quarter cup of cold water and about two tablespoons of flour, which is what we have right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is whole wheat flour, by the way. That's why it's not all that white. Uh, it can be white flour if you wish. And the water? Uh, whole wheat was all I had. Okay. Uh, quarter cup of cold water, a couple of tablespoons of flour mixed together. Mm. And we add that to this chicken liquid and the raisins and the apples and the onions and garlic. And we make a beautiful, thick, smooth, creamy sauce. And this we're going to pour over the chicken. Why didn't you see this why thickening you up, dog? television? Why not... Uh a chef something. Uh, it's, 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 it's much harder when you have to cook for crowds of people. I don't know yeah. whether I'd be able to handle that. Yeah. Cooking for myself or one or two or three other people mm. is fine. Okay, next thing. Platter. We're getting to the final stages, Doug. Okay. This is where the uh, mm. creative work comes in now. We're going to dress this up a bit. Uh, we have our nice serving platter here. And we're going to spread on that some rice, which I've already cooked. We don't need to show people how to cook rice. That's pretty basic. Although, I don't know, do you know how to cook no. rice? <laughs> uh, that's pretty basic. Uh, this is the stuff that takes about 15 minutes, OK? Mm -hmm. So we've got our nice saucepan full of white, fluffy rice. And we spread that on our serving platter, like so. And on top of that, we're going to lay our chicken. Get rid of that. Looking good. On sure. top of that, we're going to place our chicken. And that's going to be a nice contrast to the uh, white rice. Do you like white rice? Um, yes, but I'll tell you, I don't like wild rice. Wild no, rice. I don't like that. Do you? Yeah. I I do, yeah. Do you? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I don't like in the food line. Mm. I can't think of anything anyway. Uh, now, we put the uh, chicken on the uh, rice, like so. Can you do flippers? No, I've never cooked flippers. I, well, the Newfoundland stuff uh, I leave to my mother. The rabbit. She's a great hand at cooking uh, flipper and all that stuff, yeah. But you have other dishes, I was kidding. I have other dishes, yes. yes. I cook uh, lasagna and Do spaghetti you? and uh, all kinds of neat stuff okay. like that. Sure, yeah. I'm going to get that rice off the uh, serving spoon. Now, we put the uh, sauce over the chicken. Look at that. Mm. Look at this. I can't wait to taste this. How about you? I'm getting the uh, sauce on your countertop there. On top of that, we're going to dress it up with some coconut and cashews, which are uh, traditional condiments mm -hmm. served with uh, 
curry dishes. There are all sorts of these uh, condiments, by the way, mm -hmm. Doug. You can mm -hmm. serve uh, yogurt, cold yogurt with them. You can serve bacon bits. You can serve uh, chutney, which we have over there. Mm -hmm. Sliced banana is another one. Uh, onion rings It's another one. But uh, for now, we're going to put some coconut on top of that. You're an artist. Well, I mean, the visual mm -hmm. appearance of the food is, uh, mm -hmm. is very important. Coconut on top of that. I hope you like all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And excuse the fingers. Okay. And uh, cashews on top of that. Did you say this was an Indian dish? I know this is your own recipe, but... Uh, well... Uh, because it's curry, does that follow necessarily? That well, uh, no. cur curry is a traditional dish of East India. East India. Yeah. There it is. Well, Say two. Well, it's finished. Well, well, well. Now we can eat it. Willing? Really? Take a chance? Of course I am. <laughs> okay. I eat this stuff all the time. Okay.